It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Something pepper and heavy D up in the limousine. Magic Molly Mall. I let my tape rock. I'm always up and got an Annie. Still ain't find a nanny. All of them is my junior, Sammy. Uh, if the queen sleeves put a bag on it, then it's gun smoke. So we ain't playing on the internet. I got bigger fish to fry. That's why I got a bigger net. I didn't play me, but I should have done it first. Stuff was harder than I put it in a verse. These bitches mad I did it better than first. It's good you guys okay it has been maybe like two maybe like three months all right i know i know i know okay your girl has been doing her motherfucking thing okay period we all need a little bit of that you know time to like focus on a real life you know come on come on you've been doing this too come on besides that though guys no honestly i've been really really good i've been really handling a lot of my fucking business in my real life in my career like work has been good life has been good shit has just been getting a little bit better you feel what i'm saying so i really was like no i have to get on this camera i gotta talk i gotta see where the fuck everybody else head is at i feel like i gotta put my information out in the world because motherfuckers need to hear it period 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 so without further ado welcome to the 20 somethings podcast i'm your host lex also known as Lex Goody on my Instagram and TikTok. So make sure you follow me, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and turn on your post notification bell so you can see every time I post a video. I really was like, I gotta come talk. You know what I'm saying? Because if I'm feeling like this, I know uh, some of y'all that watch me and probably this is your first time watching me is feeling like this because I don't know, something's in the air. I don't know if it's just the moons and the stars, who the fuck knows, bitch? But we are gonna get into it. As y'all can see from that title today, I wanted to touch on a few things, okay? A few freaking things. Number one, standing on motherfucking business. I think that is like the phrase of the year. And it's like, fuck the trend. We really gotta stand on fucking business, you heard? Like, So I wanna talk on standing on business and I wanna talk on how to use time to your advantage use time as a tool let time work for you okay and last but not least i want to talk about not letting these people trick you out your fucking spot okay because a lot of that has been trying to go on and i ain't having it you were my ancestors is not having it i'm not having it fuck that shit so let's get right into it I know a lot of us, you're going to think I'm, a, I mean, standing on business when it comes to relationships and shit like that. Because that's what it kind of means when people are like, oh, I'm standing on business. Like, oh, you're not replying back to them. You're not texting them back. Y'all already know, I don't only just talk about relationships on this channel. On business. Um, This year, we're not about to sit here and um beg people to get what the fuck we're trying to say. People know. And now that I know that we're becoming the new adults, which means we're the people that's supposed to know when some funny shit is going on being able to teach the youth because we're we have the wisdom and shit like that i'm not freaking making excuses for none of these big ass fucking people no more when it's time to stand on business stand on business and let people know you see right through them or you can play dumb and don't let people think you see right through them and that's also standing on business because that means you have a bigger plan behind the scenes which is okay our generation in the gen z generation i know we do not like asking for help we hope we're like we soft or some shit like that but what i come to realize is that also comes with us not standing on business because we don't want to ask for help we feel like oh let me not speak up on that because that's gonna make me sound like a crybaby that's gonna make me sound like i care too much no fuck that shit about the motherfucker call me a crybaby and no out feel me before you think before i act all hard and tough but yeah i'm really soft behind the scenes i'd rather be a cry baby and you know i get it popping i'd rather cry while i'm beating your ass than to play tough and start running so i realized a big part sitting on business is allowing yourself to stand on business allowing yourself to put certain people in a place even if you have certain ties to them even if you like oh god i need this girl for something so like i can't like tell her what she did was fucked up or i can't just cut her off today and never speak to her again because i'm i'm linked up with her in this kind of way we have these certain ties together or damn i can't stand on business in this relationship because this is the best thing that has happened to me in the past 10 years and i'm fucking desperate no we have to allow ourselves to be bitches we gotta allow ourselves to be the motherfucking bad guy allow yourself to be a fucking bad guy you get no fucking brownie points for being the person that got walked over stand on business don't let them walk on you don't let the business walk on you stand on the business don't let the business walk on you you're period 
Y'all making my New York accent come out so heavy today. I don't know what the fuck it is, but like <clears throat> my queen's tongue is really in today. Like that's how you know I'm really passionate right now. Like I'm really, I'm really passionate right now. So that's why I be telling y'all to get things on your own, have your own shit, be somebody that can stand by yourself. So when situations like this happens, when it's time to stand on business, you feel good about yourself. You don't need nobody. There's nothing left behind because you have all your things already. You're whole already. There's no pieces of you left over here that you really, really need. Nah, fuck that. You you got all your shit. You you gonna leave it what you came with, okay? So stand on motherfucking business. Our next topic I wanted to get into letting time be your tool letting time work for you when you look at time as a tool you'll be able to move a little bit differently in life so what I mean by that if you know that there's how many hours in a day everybody sleep from this time to that time the average person usually gets up at this time at that time usually people's on their phone for learn analytics of life that's what I need to do to the, the first way to use time as a tool is to understand how time works in other people's lives so if you are a content creator something like that and you want to um and you look at your analytics and you see that people are usually watching your stuff from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. bitch write that down take them notes so for anybody in life okay every anybody in life learn the analytics of time from the masses what are the masses doing from this time to that time when are the masses asleep so I can be awake so I got the most freedom and space to do my thing when are people awake so I know that that's my peak hours to promote whatever it is I'm doing also if you are someone that feels like time goes by really really fast and you feel like years go by fast like oh a year that's nothing that goes by fast good look at it as Girl, I bet I could get me this house in a year. I bet I can get me this car in a year. I bet I could blow up in a year. That's exactly how you need to look at it. So instead of looking at it, it's like, oh my God, these years go by so fast. Like, be like, yo, these years go by so fast. Like, I might as well use this time now to get it done. I heard some YouTuber talk about her name. I think Gina B. Um, she's um, she, she said, she was like, the time is going to pass anyway. You might as well take action. And I've oh, and it's just so true because it's like I've always felt like that. It's like, bro. If I'm or if we're waiting to die anyway, I might as well turn up in this bitch. Like I might as well have fun. I might as well go on the trips I want to take, start those businesses, do them long nights. Use time as a, a as a way to like set yourself up for you or to learn or to have that advantage up on society. Like same way like you got people that create content, and you got people that absorb content. If you are somebody that creates content, you got to figure out you got to be up and at it and doing things ahead of time so that when it's time for the people that consume content, your shit is already ready. You feel what I'm saying? So you're not moving like the masses. You're moving like somebody that has studied the masses. You're the one controlling shit. You're the puppeteer. You know how, how you want shit to go in your life. You know how you want to set stuff up. You know the schedule you want people to... Sh you, you know what the schedule is that you have for your life. So with all that being said... Because I don't want to go in circles. Guys, learn time. Learn different places on the earth. Learn, learn geography and learn when the sun goes up over here. If Cali's four different hours over here and I'm trying to reach people in Cali and I want to start appealing to more people in Cali, figure out when the people in Cali's awake. It's not about how much money you have. It's not about nothing. Once you understand time, you're in there, okay? And for my final, final point, do not let these people trick you out your spot people know that you have a certain type of aura to you a certain standard who will try to find ways in order to find flaws and cracks in that because they feel like you not that solid you not that tough you're you wouldn't be nothing without whatever it is that they looking at that you have right now so we kind of all been in those situations where you just had those people that would just see you comfortable see you shining see you doing your thing at work or wherever you at and they're just like I need to ruin this bitch day. If I know I have the power to get that bitch fired, if I know I have the power to sabotage that bitch or whatever, I'm gonna do it. But with not letting people trick you out your spot, it's not just about in the moment of when they try to trick you out your spot. It's about ahead of time. Study people enough so you learn their patterns and their habits. So when they think, when when they think they're about to trick you out your spot, you already peeped that shit. That's how you make sure nobody trick you out your spot. Be ahead of the trickster. Be ahead of these motherfuckers. Don't just, oh, I mean, it's cool. If somebody catches you off guard and you don't let them trick you out your spot, 
kudos to you good job but that's exhausting nobody wants to feel like like they're always unprepared for a a, a, a motherfucker a trickster trying to come and do some shit basically stay ahead of the fucking game that's how you let somebody not trick you out your spot. Stay ahead of the game and think that everybody will cross you. Everybody's guilty to a proven innocent. It don't mean treat people like they're guilty. It don't mean treat people like a studge. Uh, no, that's how you end up broke in life. Like, if you treat everybody like they stole something from you, you ain't gonna get shit in life. But definitely look at everybody like, hmm, these characteristics of you. Can this somehow sabotage or jeopardize what the fuck I got going on? If I could tell you're a little bit of a hater, can that fuck up what I got going on? If I could tell you have a little bit of an envious spirit, you know what I'm saying? Can, if I, ooh, ooh, if I could tell you're a little self-conscious or insecure, be careful for them bitches. Be careful for the people that are self-conscious and insecure. They will trick you out your spot faster than the motherfucking judge on a, on a Monday. Okay? <laughs> Shit. Okay? So, with all that being said, my beautiful, lovely people, stay prayed up, stay good vibes, happy energy, because this is what they hate to fucking see. So, keep making them fucking mad and stay ahead of the tricksters, stand on business, and let time be your tool, okay? We got this, you got this, we the new adults, we in our 20-somethings, doing a damn thing, making shit shake and shaking ass, and, and I really hope to see you guys in my next one. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and you can follow me on all my social medias. They'll be down in the description down below, and I'll see you guys later. Bye! Mwah.